we will create our network. Let me put off the tool space. We will lay our network here at the create design panel of the home tab. You can see pipe network. I will click on the down arrow there. And then I go to pipe network creation tools. Let's call it sewerage network. And here we can you can write a network description. I'll skip that for now. Let's go to network path list. We have our path list that we created. And the surface name, it's a topo surface. We want our network to reference that the topo surface in terms of depth, cover to pipes, it will be the topo surface will be our reference. Alignment name, we want to send an alignment for now. Structure label styles for, for our structure, data with network pipes. Let's go with sanitary only. Then pipe label, let's go with uh, plan, description, and slope. Plan, length, description, and slope. Once I'm okay with setting up everything, I just click on OK. And here, also, again, you can edit pipe network properties. The plan, the labels, the, the, the path list, which we have already assigned. Also, you can reassign the surface that you want to be referenced. You can select the alignment. Here, the path list. You can change that. Okay. And here you can select the the structures that you want to start with. For example, here I want to start with a 1500 millimeter diameter uh, manhole. And here I want to start with a 200 millimeter PVC pipe. Here you can dictate the structure insertion point. You can dictate whether the pipes together with the structure are going to be drawn or is it the pipes only or the structure only. We want both. As we lay out our pipe network, we want to see both. And here you can toggle between upslope to downslope or from downslope to upslope. Of course, we want to start upslope to downslope. And that's the default here. Here, you, this you can use this to delete a pipe network part. And here you can use this to go to network vistas or panorama so once i'm set up i can come here and click on pipes and structures and i can start laying out my my network let me start from here going going downwards remember in sewerage design any place you're taking a corner you have to put a junction and this is what is happening automatically with civil 3d a manhole is being set up a any time we do a corner for example let's say your outlet for this for this sewer network ends up here so once you're done you just click on escape and there and then you will see that you have created your network and here you can see the structures have been named according to the structure label that we selected also the pipes have been named according to the labels that we selected okay next we will look at how to view this on profile view 